Good morning from Ireland. A place I didn't think I'd be starting a video off with, but here we are. Today we're going to be hiking the Kamlugra Lugra route here in Ireland, which basically tackles the three highest peaks in the country. I'm at the trailhead here. Let's get let's hit the trail and I'll tell you more about it in a bit. But as always, for more information and a full hike guide of this uh, mountain, you can check the link in the description below. Very beautiful morning here at the trailhead. The Kamlugra route tackles the three highest peaks in Ireland. The highest peak is Carantul, which most people will hike from the opposite side. The Devil's Ladder is a really popular route. Should be about eight miles long. I'll put kilometers in here as well and anywhere between 3,500 and 4,200 feet. So definitely gonna be quite a big day. Hopefully a good sign for the day ahead. Absolutely zero warm up for this one. Start off on this kind of tractor road here and it is just a calf burner straight up. An early morning start is essential for this one. This hike is going to vary depending on who you are, how much experience. Anywhere between five to eight hours is what I'm consistently seeing. You are on private land, I believe for the whole hike. Maybe not the top, but at least the bottom here. So you'll see some sheep and you'll just want to respect private land. No camping is allowed in the area. As you can tell, it's very windy today, which is not an ideal weather conditions for this hike. Very, very windy up here. So this is the point. Contour is back in there, and then your loop basically does this, brings you back. You don't want to be on a ridge or any kind of mountain with this kind of wind. Not a good combination. I have to know when to make a good decision and uh, there's no way I'm going up in that today. It's just nasty. So hopefully there'll be a part two of this and that'll start right now. Back here again for the second day in a row, second attempt of Contool here. And I think I'm gonna make an attempt today. My original plan was to go clockwise so do the ridge first today even though it was supposed to be sunny it's not so it's pretty foggy up there and so I'm gonna do Cather first and kind of make that my plan 1a so counterclockwise first anti-clockwise um, the reason I'm doing this is because this hike up is a lot less technical so if the clouds do remain the way they are I can just follow the path and not have to worry about cliffs or anything like that. I'm not familiar with this terrain. It's my first time hiking here. It's my last day in Ireland. I'd like to hit the summit and I don't really care how I get there today. Oh no. As I found out pretty quickly here, you're not gonna wanna get trail runners involved on this one. Hiking boots, Gore-Tex, that's gonna be your friend. Not only for the rain, which is obviously notorious in Ireland, but these little bog crossings here at the beginning or end, depending on how you do this, not exactly great. Up on the uh, ridge or shoulder here of Cahir, and as I mentioned, it's wet, which shouldn't be surprised, or I shouldn't have expected, I should say, going to Ireland, leaving with dry shoes after hiking. Gore-Tex, waterproof, extra socks, because even up here, I was kind of banking on it to be dry. Oh no, it's not.
If you're new to my channel, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. It talks about the full entire hike guide, uh, A to Z, everything you need to know. It'll also tell you the gear I recommend and exactly what I'm using for this hike, which, spoiler alert, wouldn't recommend my shoes, but you can check that out as well. Just about two miles into the hike here, but the uh, elevation gain about 1400 feet or so. The rock, very slippery. I'm already happy I chose this route over the full loop. Even though I'm very disappointed about that, this is the safer bet today. Apologies for not showing you guys much. I'm in a cloud. There's not much to show, but I can say the trail is pretty well marked. There's no signage or Karens or anything, but there is at least a very well established trail. I've been kind of showing you on and off here. Sheep herding the mountainside. The only sound in the air besides the wind. It's under two and three quarter miles into the hike here and about to uh, hit about 2,800 feet in elevation as well. You may have read beforehand, staying on the trail is so important and going down the same way you can. You can get a kind of an example of it right there where that's just a cliff. So I know on the way down, stay to the path here. Summit of Mount Kyre. Oh man. Just imagine beautiful views this way. <laughs> ah, and there's my route, the contour. It's just this way here. Perfect. So basically, contour is that way. Um, but yeah, you can see how hard it is if can have some kind of visibility to know which way to go. A little shelter here. If you really needed it. Nice and dry in there. More or less a tag there of Cahir. And uh, yeah, just gonna keep going. Weather like this, I have no desire to linger any longer than I need to. Wanna make sure I can get back here and then head down the other side before it gets uh, too cloudy or rainy or any kind of storm blows in. What a freaking scene. Wow. On the ridge again. Heading over to Contour True Summit. The lighting up here. Hopefully it comes through. It is amazing. Finally in a bit of sun. Looks like I might even be above it. Yeah, apologies in advance too for some of the footage being uh, water capped on the lens. Doing the best I can here. But when you're in a cloud, it's basically constantly precipitating on you. It's pretty damn tricky to get quality footage. With all this fog, I'm really just trying to make sure I don't go too far. So I'm pretty sure this is the last descent I have. And then now I'm gonna slowly work my way back up to the summit of Carntool. What I imagine are good views down here, 
in a cloud today, but Summit is right in front of me now. Summit, right there. Oh man, it might even be clear for a second. Whoa, that would be awesome. I have no words for what just happened. I cannot believe it. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. About four miles to the summit of Carantou. About 3,500 feet of elevation. All I have to say is thank you Mother Nature because it is amazing up here. I'm not gonna push my luck. I'm gonna never forget these views. Crazy beautiful. I cannot believe the clouds cleared. Obviously the audio sucks here, so let's just show you quickly the way back down. So to begin your descent, you're gonna head to this cairn here and then take the ridge all the way there, all the way there, and back down. And then you're gonna bump around the lake, exit out right down there. As much as tagging any summit is awesome, you're not safe until you're back down. So I'm not gonna wrap up this video until I'm back down at a point where I feel safe. Honestly, this feels like a clickbait video where it's like watch till the end. But seriously, if you didn't, I mean, you missed out on this incredible, incredible experience. I just still am so, so thankful that this just happened. And the fact that I even was able to get up here in the first place, uh, still a bummer not to be able to do that route over there. And honestly, I probably could have, but I just feel like with how lucky I've been today so far, there's no need to push my luck. Still, Carantul in the books, pending a descent, of course, which is Ireland's highest peak, at like just over a thousand meters, 1,080, I think. So that's like 3,400 feet. Now that you can actually see something, here's a look at those cliffs I was showing you. And you can't get an idea of the exposure as well. If you were to do the Cum Lagra, I believe it's called route, your end point there. And you got that, 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 and then back down to the same starting point. On the way back here, if it is foggy or rainy or you're kind of confused, you're kind of following this, but you can also just look for the fence here, right there. And that will get you up to uh, the summit there and then back down the other side. Now that we aren't in a cloud, you can get a good look at your way up slash down here. So basically you get to that point, cut right around and then out. What a difference a couple hours makes. 
couldn't see any of this this morning. Basically back down to the start of the hike here. Yeah, some quick notes about this one. As always, as I mentioned earlier, you can check a full trail guide on this hike and it links in the description below. Uh, this is not dog friendly, which means dogs are not permitted on this hike because the landowner do not want you to. In terms of gear, I wish I had hiking poles, but they couldn't fit in my bag. So uh, here we are without them, but they would definitely be really helpful on the way up and down to save your knees some work here. As I mentioned, waterproof, Shoes, Gore-Tex, hiking boots, something like that would be fantastic, especially for the part I'm about to go back into again. One thing I didn't touch on the beginning of this video, which is fee or parking. There is no fee as of 2021, at least to hike uh, Kaher and uh, Kantul. There is a small parking lot at the base of the uh, hike here that fits maybe, I don't know, 20-ish cars. Overall, I thought this was a fantastic hike. Obviously, weather clearing is always great, but even without that, there was some fun little scrambling, and uh, yeah, the views, of course, on a clear day are just bananas. I mean, I've driven through a lot of Ireland on this trip, and these views up here were bar none the best. Gonna leave you with Carl Tool in the background and the ridge behind me. If you're new to my channel and found this video helpful at all, go ahead and give it a like. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, I do hike guides all around the world based in Colorado in the United States. So hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any future hiking guides, tips, content, etc. Be sure to check out my website as well, thevirtualsherpa.com. I'm not wearing any right now, but you can support the channel with Virtual Sherpa gear linked in the description below as well. As always, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.